Well, I'm with Cassidy, and she is an employee of Nomadic Customs, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like turning to you like I don't know. But she's gonna tour the newest van that they just completed that is being sent off to the client. They're shipping it off to the client as we, uh, within the next couple of days. So Cassidy was nice enough to kind of show everybody what has been done. Tired of looking at Mark's face, so I got Cassidy instead. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Of you. I'm just kidding. He's standing over there. <laughs> Cassidy knows everything about this van, so we're gonna get all the, all the information right now. Here we go. We didn't rehearse anything. This is an unscripted mm -hmm. situation we got this going on. This Candid. is always raw uh, on my channel. I always keep it uh, real with everybody. We talked about you doing some tours for Nomadic, which I'm super excited about. Yeah, you know, it's actually the reason I got hired on. That was many ages ago. Now I'm doing a lot more than that, but I'm excited to like, be doing this part too. This is the fun part. But now you wear many hats at Very Nomadic. many hats. Right, Struggling. which is great. Actually, if anybody has been emailing Nomadic, I believe it goes through you. Yeah, so well, good stuff. Trying to be the one. We have a lot of emails, There's a lot of inquiries. A lot of inquiries. <laughs> it's a lot of... great. It's so awesome. But yeah, a lot to filter through. <laughs> this van, do you know the year, make, model, chassis, all that stuff? I think I do. Okay. I'm pretty cool. sure I do. Okay. <laughs> it is a 2020 159 Extended Promaster. You're so professional. <laughs> so professional. <laughs> All the time. 2020 uh, Promaster. 159. Pro Master extended. Oh, it is an extended. Mm hmm. 3,500. Oh, wow. So it's a big boy. Big boy. Well, we're gonna get to the outside later, but let's uh, let's walk us through the, the whole the whole shebang. Here. Yeah, let's go. What All do you right, want to cool. look at first? I see that you have a swivel here. We do. Uh, beautiful swivel seat. I'm actually probably gonna sit in it in a minute while I, you do all the touring, which is great. There's a bench behind you. There is a bench behind me. Okay. So if you take these lovely cushions made by our wonderful upholsterer. I told um, you I was gonna sit in the swivel. Yeah, sit in the <laughs> swivel. So you pop this out, bam. This? Wait, this is a whole thing. This is a whole thing. Okay, what's going so, on? We got a drawer, Ooh. and then there's more. Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> like a triple slider. It is. This pops out, little accordion action. Wow, we went right into like good stuff right at the beginning, Kat. Oh yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay, oh. and that's a, I guess, a extra bed that's situation. Extra, bed. extra twin bed for their son. So this is a family adventure rig right. that's pretty cool yeah. we've been doing a few of these actually in our build so it's a really great option for extra sleeping area but seating area multi-purpose storage i also see there's like storage back here too there is is that a little like i'm gonna pull on it yeah oh, look at so that. that's a little laptop cubby area oh well, cool mm -hmm. that's nifty well, we made it match the walls with the ship lap super clean lines really nice and pretty and sleek I like this layout a lot, actually. The layout is really, really open and feels really comfortable for having so much storage. So I'm a small person too, so it's not like I take up that much room. All right, so but... you mentioned your height. Uh, these Pro Masters have plenty of height. How tall are you, do you know? Oh, well, do you like, do you know? You're five but foot? I've got my shit kickers on. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're bleeping that out. <laughs> my uh... like, bleep kickers on. <laughs> so I'm probably like five two. Okay, right fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so as you guys can see, she has plenty of room here. I'm, you know, 5'8 on a good day. So <laughs> I have plenty of room in here as well. And I bring that up is because we have the Van Life Tech in the floor. We do. Nice and toasty in here. Well, I actually have it cranked all the way up because we're outside and it's 45 degrees outside it's, in lovely Portland, Oregon. And it's a beautiful yeah. 45 though, I will say it's that. It's a beautiful, brisk 45. The Van Life Tech system, uh, do you know, you have tried it yourself? You've seen oh, it in action? times. Yeah, it's I've pretty nice, multiple huh? Vans with it. It's really nice. Um, you know, it's a whole hydronic heating system, but it heats up all the cabinetry, which is nice. Mark talks about this all the time. It really gives a whole, like, the airflow. Like, you know, we're in a um, blower heat, the air feels hot up here and cold on the bottom. Mm -hmm. This, the heat really comes from the bottom up, so it's really nice and throughout the air heating. That's does really. That make sense? It does make sense. It makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to everybody in the uh, that's watching. <laughs> I hope so too. Opposite the shower, which we're going to get to in a second. I am always in love with these. Yeah, these are beautiful. Our signature pieces are curved shelves, you know, and they're just like a nice little extra storage area while still blending in. I like that it doesn't feel like it's coming off the wall. It feels like it's still part of the wall and you're like, oh, that's more storage. Cool. So you have this kitchen you were just referencing. Yeah. Uh, wonderful open kitchen. Do you there's know the no... counter? Yeah, go ahead. There's no what? There's, there's no, no what? There's no induction. There's nothing 
solidified on this countertop so you can really use it for everything. That's a good point. I actually didn't even realize that. That's, I feel like a good selling point as far as people that don't want um, an inset induction top or any kind of cooking apparatus that is solidified on the countertop, they can use a countertop for multiple things. Right. Did yeah. you do you know if that was the client's choice or yeah. yeah. So they have this um, air fryer convection oven as their primary source. Oh, and then we sweet. have a single burner that's portable that they can just put in a cabinet or in one of the drawers. The model of that by hand by chance? You no, know, I don't I don't I don't either. I don't I've never seen it before. We don't it's not one that we use primarily. This was their request. Right. So. And that's actually a good point because uh nomadic, you know, you work for them and you listen to the clients you All the time. you want yeah. what you give what the client wants and if the client wants something yeah, like this they want their own microwave oven thing and that's what they get as long as it fits with their power system then we're right as rain do you know the power system offhand this one is a five battery system with 525 amp hours one of the best heaters on the market if mm -hmm. not the best does it have the air conditioner as well it does the cruise and comfort dual fan Holy Christmas, that's a that's lot. That's why we have the five batteries to make sure to support that AC. So this this van is really meant to yeah. like travel, live in, whatever you want to do with it. Yeah, they really wanted to feel like they were in the comfort of their own home while still being a family on the road and being able to do things. So awesome. I feel like we really accomplished that. Um, this is a sink, and mm -hmm. I always like showing off the, the sink that Mark usually goes with. And I'm glad, it, okay, go, I was actually taking a chance. I didn't know this was the one. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the black, yeah, the black granite one. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's not actual bad. granite, it's like a granite composite i believe yeah, yeah. Is. mark is a big advocate of the woods that he mm -hmm. likes uh, do you know the woods offhand i, I don't do. know maple them. and white oak Whoa. what we went with and poplar kind of a modern farmhouse look keeps it nice and open and airy but also warm and inviting the shiplap walls the touches of wood everything being white but also having like black counters yeah. Do you know the countertop? What type it paper is? Paperstone. We love paperstone. It stands out really easily, polishes really nicely, takes a beating, but still looks not like a DIY van. Mm. Not that there's anything against DIY, but like if you want to feel like you're in your home, you want your home counter. Right. Yeah. It's an expensive product. It's also a recyclable product. Mm -hmm. Recycled paper, I believe. We try to do a lot of sustainable products here. Really care about our sourcing and our quality of products. This van has a heater mm -hmm. and air conditioner. And now it has a shower, shower. and yes, sleeping for three, nice, by the way. A nice big shower. Yeah, it's huge. And can I will back even... up so I can get you all Look in. Look at that. You, can't, you cannot reach across? <laughs> no, I can't reach across. That's you know pretty big. Bench? It is I can do some big. dance moves in here. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Like, again, it helps that I'm kind of a small person. You but are still, tiny. This is plenty of clearance. We got a nice little fan in here, too. Oh, that's always key because mm -hmm. um, you have the hot water on demand with Van Life Tech. We so. do, four gallons of it. So, wow. With well, another 27 of fresh water, so we have a total of 31. The shower door is right here, which is a retractable, it looks yes. like. Yes, it is the Stoet retractable door. Oh, nice. Want to close that? Okay, huh? This is one of the my favorite Mark Roman Nomadic Customs moves. The Nomadic uh, stack, stack. The stacked, yeah, yeah. The stacked coolers. Yeah, these are rad. Super nice. And handy temperature control right here is immediate, which is really nice. So if you want to, you know, adjust those based on what you're putting in, or you can just turn one off and only have one if you're not running both and don't need all the space. Do you know where the ventilation for the Cruise and Comfort comes out? Because I'm trying to find it, I cannot find it. Right here. Oh actually. my goodness! Yeah, I'm gonna sneak right little, next to you. <laughs> this oh, little that little duct guy system. Right there. Yep, that little guy. And then we've got the control panels for the VLT down here with our heating coming from here and yeah. from the floors. You want to talk about your favorite parts. What are your favorite parts of this van? For this being a ProMaster, it feels so open. It feels like a house, but there is a lot of storage in here. And like the last van we did, the Walnut Wonder that you like yeah. to call it, yeah. it was really open, but storage was pretty minimal on that one. Yep. There was no garage area. There was only one set of cabinets, I believe, and there's a ginormous shower. So for this, having a shower, all of the systems, and still having two cabinets, and then all of these drawers down here right. and the garage. Which we'll I get to. Really, yeah, we'll get to that. But I just really love how much storage there is in here. So do you like storage? Is that what your thing is? Yeah, well, yeah, if there's two people want... in here to snowboard, I okay. like to go paddleboard. I like to do so all you, the outdoors. So you could carry all those things with exactly. you is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, well, the biggest thing is like with this being a family adventure rig, you know, I feel yeah. like space fills up really, really fast. And so having room for everything and being comfortable is really, really optimal. Do you know if there is a toilet that the client 
Okay. But it will be. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure it's a composting toilet. It'll be in the shower. We don't have it in there right now just for walking around purposes. But. And I see you have access to the garage. We do. We have this fun little door. It's like an Alice in Wonderland door. Oh, I actually really like a, okay, I've never heard that before. I bet I could crawl through it, honestly, but we're not going to show that. We're not going to show you crawling through, because that yeah. would just be super creepy on my end. Oh, yeah. You have enough haters online, right? I do have enough haters <laughs> online. To show you the pantry. Oh, please. There's a this pantry here? Part. It's a triple level pantry that wow. looks like a cabinet. It really blends with everything else, but again optimizing storage very very well Cass, before we go outside and show off the outside of the van and plus the garage one of nomadic's favorite things to do and taught me this was one fan there one fan in the back yep. uh because of the extended you have plenty of room on the roof yeah. do you know what the solar is we do we have a 400 watt monocrystalline panel nice and the two max fans we have an orion low profile roof rack uh let's step outside and you can kind of show me what's going on in the back motion windows motion mm -hmm. there's some of my favorite windows these are my favorite windows of all the different kinds we offer um i know the cr lawrence is popular because it's a very sleek look yeah but i like that you have the option for ventilation with these windows motion motion there's one behind no yeah yeah over here yep. yeah and then there isn't look at that one. shot of the bridge i just want to show this real quick it's really pretty it is really pretty in this beautiful big garage oh I my <laughs> you have your hair tie, hair tie um, snuck in there. somehow <laughs> fell in the van somehow <laughs> so shower box no biggie mm -hmm. um outdoor shower so you have an indoor shower and an outdoor shower yep you want to like spray something off you know just spray off your your paddleboard, your surfboard, anything you need. This is so <laughs> much dog. room back here. Very much. A lot of room. I mean, this is this is Cassidy size. <laughs> I'm going to flick this switch on and see what happens. Do you know? That's our garage light. Is it? Okay, cool. Wow, look at light that. Light and bright so you can see all your things. Got our fuse box over here so that if anything goes wrong, it's nice and easy. Comment below if you guys want Cassidy to do more of the nomadic <laughs> tours. Okay, I probably got to get a little better verse then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this part's pretty nifty. Um, we've had some complaints as far as people not being able to see their water line. Not necessarily with our build, but in general, it's something that they're like adamant about. And so we have a nice light in our water tank. Whoa, with the... you're not on a full tank, by the way. You know, we're kind of low here. Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> we do fill it up before we give it to the client. <laughs> and it's nice that the slit is close to the door, so it's not all the way back. If you got all your stuff in there, wouldn't do much good. We give everybody a extension cord and hose for their water. That's the cruise and comfort, I believe. It is. And access to it, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, Cassidy, I don't think we covered everything. Yeah. We did it in a timely fashion. We're going to have you on from now on instead of Mark, because all he does is... <laughs> jabber with me jibber <laughs> that's jabber fair. I, that's fine you're straight we, to the point i like banter it banter all the time so you and i banter we do i want to reference these lights because i put them in oh, my van yeah they're some of my favorite lights to, like, yeah go go yeah yeah you're gonna go around to the front okay <sighs> bam bam fancy right fancy super sensitive yeah very sensitive for people that don't know they also have a usb port in them they do. I forgot those are these are the ones that do that. It's yep. like right here yep. on both of them. Both people can be plugging in their iPads and watching their separate shows. <laughs> <laughs> I really like these shelves right here. This is great for like your little knickknacks at night. Uh, the window rings done by Nomadic. Again, these are mostly signature stuff by them. Uh, I'm going to say this that you, uh, you know, not that you forgot, mm -hmm. but uh, now these are now going to be offered as a selling uh, through the Nomadic's website, I believe, right? Yep, that is the goal. That's pretty, so, that's pretty cool. Uh, soon to be, what, is that, what would that word be? Soon to be displayed. Uh, we are currently working on our website and updating it with all kinds of fun gadgets. A lot more to come. A lot. A lot to, more come. to come. Yeah, so uh, it's really cool. So many things under in the works. Well, Cassie, thank you so much for kind of displaying the new client yeah, van. Yeah, that was a pleasure. I, I mean, I hope everybody enjoyed the tour. If you have pointers, let me know. But like um, what they'd like to see, you know? Yeah, there you go. Like what, what they'd like to see about our builds, what we're doing. Um, a lot of the stuff we do is kind of similar, but also 
as people have seen, most of our builds are one of a kind. They're so unique to the client, asking more so what they want. We should probably say that about Nomadic, mm -hmm. that this is not a cookie cutter CNC cutout. No, This no. is very much handcrafted. We all like to create, we're all artists, we all want to connect with the client and really bring something to life for them. And that's not to go against anybody else who's doing other things in the industry because there's so much business for everyone yeah. and so many different niches for everyone. But I really love what we're doing as far as being unique, being creative and really listening to what the client wants. As far as what we're doing and what we're crafting, it is a home on wheels. Even like if you're, it's only your weekend warrior, it's still your weekend home. It's, you know, your, it's your weekend beach house almost. It's your weekend beach house, yeah. weekend mountain house, weekend cabin, yeah. whatever you want. Take it to the beach, take it to the mountain, it's both. Yeah, Nomadic <laughs> will do that for you. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty nifty. Uh, well, thank you, Cassidy, again, You're and welcome. we thank will you. see you soon. And let's let's get you again in more videos. Yeah, I'm I, down. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, guys, see you later. See ya.